what is up it is rosa and welcome to today's video if you guys are wondering yes i have dark lips honestly it's because it's fall but also this might be the lip color i'm going with my wedding so if you guys want a little wedding update that's the lip color i think i'm gonna be going with i have another lip color underneath but i honestly feel like this lip cover just took over the other lip color and if you guys are wondering what this is this is unicorn blood by jeffree star also, I whitened my teeth last night. I don't think they're very good. I think they're actually more spotty. So I'm sorry if my teeth are a little bit spotty in this video. It's called acid stains from eating too many lemons when I was little after my grown up teeth came in. So sorry about that. But today we are doing a what's sold video. This is going to be from August 31st through September 6th, I'm pretty sure. So it is a full week of sales. Let's just go into it. You guys know the drill. If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up. Subscribe. If you haven't yet to join the Briar Patch fan, bear we have on your all that's uh, 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 um. Let's go ahead and get started with the video, girl. All right, guys. So we're just going to go ahead and start real quick. These kind of videos for me are super short. And I'm sorry that they're not longer. But honestly, I don't sell as much as some people. So mine are a lot shorter than most. So, so first, we're going to go ahead and start out with Poshmark. I will have the picture right here so you guys can see what the item looked like. I'll let you know where I got the item. If I can remember, I'll let you know if I buy it again and obviously how much I made. So let's go into Poshmark first. So the first thing I per uh, the first thing I sold on Poshmark was an Everlane oversized sweater blazer olive green. I sold it for $30. My Poshmark fee was $6. My net earnings were $24. I would definitely buy Everlane again. I'm a big fan of the Everlane. I think Everlane is an amazing brand. Also, it's an amazing seller. So if you ever find Everlane, definitely pick it up. Now, I do want to say I could have sold this for a little bit more, but there are a couple reasons why I didn't. Number one, it was kind of faded in the photos. They didn't really photograph too well, so I was okay with it. Second, it was from the bins excuse me it was from the bins so i'm telling you man i have people surrounding me so you're gonna hear noises and stuff i got it from the bins so i honestly got it for a couple bucks like maybe like two dollars max so still a pretty good profit and that's and also i am not a storage facility so i'm using someone else's quote i don't know where that's from it's not mine but I'm not a storage facility, so if something's reasonable and I'm gonna get a good profit margin on it, I might as well sell that thing and get it out of here so I can bring in new stuff, you know what I mean? So yes, I would pick up Everlane again, and yes, I will take offers on it per use. The next item I sold was my Betsy Johnson cap print pink white crossover bag. I sold it for $18 plus $3.60 shipping, so my net earnings were $14.40. So with this little beauty, this one was actually mine. I purchased it from Ross, I think. I need to show you like my extensions and stuff. It, we're, if you guys want to follow me on my vlog channel, I soon will be coming out with my wedding week videos where I'll be going all over like what we're doing every day, wedding week, things like that. So definitely go ahead and check out my vlog channel. I will leave it up here so you guys can go ahead and check it out. After this, I do have some videos up, but it's going to talk more about like my life rather than me sitting here and talking about it for five minutes so this was my own bag and i had it for a long time i actually have a backpack that matches it but my aunt got me that backpack and i just and it was a little dirty so i didn't want to really resell it this betsy johnson bag is a little bit dirty as well but i purchased it myself to wear for a while now i have my gray satchel that i wear everywhere so i don't really wear the betsy johnson bag so i decided i'm just going to go ahead and sell it see how much i can get for it and i got 14 dollars 40 so i'm happy with that sale because it was something that i loved that now someone else will go ahead and love oh and by the way if i ever found betsy johnson at the thrift store and it was relatively cheap i would pick it up as well all right, so next was a pair of Nominations Italy Rose Gold Rose Dangle Earrings. I sold them for $5. My Poshmark fee was $2.95, so my net earnings were $2.05. These earrings were a gift for me when I turned like 14 or 15 something, but I never ever wore them. So they were just sitting in my closet forever, and I just don't feel like I should keep something that I don't use. So I decided to sell it and make a little bit of money. It really wasn't like that much. But again, it's I'm slowly like getting rid of stuff in my house. So I decided why the hell not? I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of that stuff. So that was the next sale. 
The next sale was a Ben Sherman striped button cuff dress shirt. I sold it for $19. My Poshmark fee was $3.80. I gave a shipping discount of $1.80 and my net earnings were $13.40. Would I pick up Ben Sherman again? Yes, I do like Ben Sherman men's tops. I think they sell relatively well for me. Again, I am a $15 to $20 range seller most of the time. So when I find it, I will get it for hopefully less than $6 and I'll make double my money. So I'm very happy with that purchase. Next, I sold these New York & Co. Soho The Weekender patch jeans. I sold them for $25. They were a size 8. My Poshmark fee was $5, so my net earnings were $20. Would I pick these up again? Yes, I love a good patchwork jean. I think they are so cool. They are coming out of style at this point. They were super popular for the summer, but now the fall time is coming back and Patchwork jeans are just not the way anymore. I mean, I would still pick up Desigual, Desigual, I think. And I'd still pick up other like really famous for their patchwork type brands, but not like things that aren't famous for it. So this one is a New York and Company brand, which I still really like, by the way. Um, and I also got a really nice note. They were just a little bit big on my uh, customer, but she still loves them and she's just belting them. And I'm all like, girl after my own heart because I belt all my shit too. So... Happy that she liked those jeans. Let's move on to the next item. The next item is this Hot Hippie. Finally, this thing sold, oh my God. Hot Hippie Castle Crusher Luxe Sleeveless Top. I sold it for $25, size large. My Poshmark fee was $5. My shipping discount was $1.80. So my net earnings were $18.20. I don't know if I'm gonna pick up Hot Hippie again, you guys. That sat for so freaking long, like maybe almost like eight or nine months. Like I remember getting it and getting so excited that I finally found Hot Hippie because a re reseller that I used to watch um, would talk about Hot Hippie a lot, but it just didn't sell fast for me. I sold one thing for like $12 on eBay a long time ago. And then this was my second item that I ever found. And this sold for $25. Now $25 is fine. Yeah, honestly, I don't think I'll pick up Hot Hippie again. It just doesn't do anything for me. And it's just kind of like a bread and butter brand. And I would rather spend money on bread and butter brands that will sell faster than Hot Hippie. The next item was actually a really bad buy. I bought this at the 70% off clearance. Oh, I didn't tell you where I got any of this shit because you know, Rosa, you're great. You're awesome. You're amazing. Let's go back real quick. I'm gonna tell you where I got everything. Um, so I told you where I got the Everlane. The Betsy Johnson bag was mine. The earrings were mine. The Ben Sherman was from Goodwill. The New York & Co. was from, I wanna say Salvation Army, but it's probably Goodwill. And then Hot Hippie, I don't even remember. I think it was Goodwill. And then these were from the 70% 70, 70 off sale. And these are the Topshop Moto Lay Cream Beige Jean size 25. I sold them for $10. My Poshmark fee was $2.95. My shipping discount was $1.80. So my net earnings were $5.25. Definitely not very happy with the sale. I thought they would sell for a little bit more, but honestly, my picture sucked. If your pictures suck, you guys, you're gonna sell things for shittier prices. I'm not even lying. Like, I have a lot of pictures that suck, and that's probably why my sales are a little bit lower than most people. Because sometimes I'm just like, how are these people selling this item for this much money? It's their pictures. Honestly, I work with what I have. I have my little hook up there. I put up my lights, I put it on a hanger, and I work with what I got. That's why I work kind of hard to try to find stock photos sometimes, but honestly, my photo was whack. Like, this photo that you just saw is terrible. I hated it. Everything was wrinkled, everything was terrible. So what I do now is I actually fold everything in fourths, and then I put it in my death pile rather than just having it in my death pile because your girl is having a hard time with her steamer. It's leaking, so I can't really steam things out right now. So I have to work with what I have and this moto jean is a sad little birdie. So let's go into the next item, which are these Fabletics Kalama, Kalama um, Crop Yoga Pants in Black. I sold them for $10, a size small. The Fabletics, I've noticed, is either a really big hit or a really big miss. Like the leggings that are really famous all over Facebook and Instagram and all that stuff, those go for money but any other kind of pant really doesn't or top really doesn't. I am like on the fence of purchasing Fabletics again. It really depends on what I feel at the time. So that one's like a maybe if I pick up or not. You'll know once you watch some more of my hauls. 
So this one, like I said, I sold it for $10. My Poshmark fee was $2.95. My shipping discount was $1.80. My net earnings were $5.25. And again, I would definitely pick up Fabletics again. Just, I mean, not definitely, maybe. It depends on the style and what it looks like and how much it goes for and if it's current or not current, things like that. So yeah, but these will probably not be picked up again. So, and I got these at Goodwill. All right, so next we are going into my favorite space of all time, eBay. I love eBay. You list and go. I feel like I will be sharing forever on Posh and like nothing happens. I'm gonna try a new strategy. I always try different strategies all the time on Poshmark, but I'm trying a new one now, so we'll see how I feel about it. So this is the Old Navy Women's Swiss Dot Ankle Pixie Mid-Rise Pants Size 10 Business Career. I sold it for $14.95 plus $3.50 shipping. And these were my pair. They were just too big on me now, so I told them to go and fly and find a new owner because I could not take care of them anymore. Next were these Onzi Women Pebble Colorful Graphic Workout Legging Size Medium. I sold them for $15 plus $3.50 shipping. Would I pick up Onzi again? Yes, you guys know that I love that brand. By the way, I'm so sorry about the sun. I always film at this time, and I don't know why, but I always film around, what time is it? Six o'clock, just because it's still light outside, but it's not too light. I'm actually using a umbrella light right now, so I don't even, or an umbrella light right now. So I don't know why they even bother, like, with this whole lighting situation. But anyways, so that, is that I love Onzi, I'll always go ahead and pick it up if I see it most of the time. Sometimes if I have too much Onzi in my store, then I like take a break and wait for those to sell and then I look again. Next is a kid's item. This is a Hannah Anderson Girls 120 sailboat print sailing dress. I sold this for $12 plus $3.50 shipping. I loved it. I thought it was so cute. There was some dirt on the back that was pictured. So the person who purchases knows it probably just put in the freaking wash and wash it. I just didn't do it because I'm a lazy son of a gun. So I, I don't wash my clothes, by the way, only if they come from the bins. I wash my clothes, but I do not wash my clothes from Goodwill. I'm assuming if you're buying pre-owned items, I wash it before I wear it. So that's that. The next item that sold was this Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. This was from like a video game, like I got two boxes of video games from my old coworker and I'm just slowly going through them. So this one sold for 99 cents plus 439 shipping. Nothing crazy to be honest. And then the final item was another game. This is the Tetris Worlds Nintendo Game Boy Advance 2001 Authentic Tested. I sold it for $14.29 with free shipping. This was one of Richard's games. You guys know that we're slowly but surely going through all of his games. We are almost done. We still have a ton of Nintendo 64 games, I think. But we do have one that's on bid. So hopefully the person buys it and like pays for it and so I can ship it out. And it's a Wayne's World one. So I'll let you guys know that it's supposed to end really soon, I think. So that will probably be in my next what sold video for the next week, which I'm so excited that I will actually have one of those up for you guys next week as well. This is like two in a row where I'm able to actually tell you guys what sold on time and actually upload. So I'm super stoked about that. But anyways, that was everything for today's video. This is how much I made out of all the items I sold. The reason I do this is because I don't research it before I film the video, I do it all post filming. So you guys will see the number as well as on the title. You'll see how many items I sold plus how much I made on all those items. So yeah, hopefully summer slowdown is coming to an end. I am praying, I am praying, I am praying. I listed actually like seven or eight items today, only three on Poshmark because only three for me were good enough for Poshmark. The rest kind of went on eBay, you know. But if you guys are not on eBay yet, I've been getting some comments where people are like nervous to start on eBay and things like that. Just do it. Like it's not even like that big of a deal. The worst thing that'll happen is somebody returns something and is disappointed and leaves you a negative feedback, which listen, you can call eBay and be like, I don't think this was fair and they'll remove the bad feedback. I had to do that recently. I had to do that a couple of weeks ago actually because I had someone who basically scammed me and I was all beach. I'm gonna call eBay on your ass. I still had to get the item back to me, but they removed the bad um, comment. So yeah, I always get so scared because my neighbor comes in and he like starts to mess with the keys and the wind and it just scary sometimes. So I'm just always like, each.
But anyways, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure to give it a huge thumbs way, way up. Subscribe. If you haven't yet joined the Bright Patch fan and we have fun here all the time, make sure to leave a comment down below of what your favorite sold was for this week. And I will talk to you guys all in the next video. Bye-bye. And stay spooky because it's almost Halloween time, bitches. Woo! Yo, what's up? I'm the Mad Hatter. I'll pour you tea. Please don't let it splatter. Does it really matter? Because I'm the Mad Hatter. <laughs>